What's up guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we're gonna do a review video. You guys are constantly, and I mean constantly, asking for boat tours, a look at our boats. Uh, we're not doing a full boat tour today, but we're gonna take a piece of it. Today I'm gonna talk about that trolling motor, the Ultrex trolling motor. Tim and I both have them on our boats. Uh, we we re-geared our boats recently, so we both went with new Ultrexes, new electronics, we got a little crazy, went with the Solix 15s on both boats. We got them front and back, as well as talons. But today what we're gonna focus on is this trolling motor. The Ultrex, I've had about two months on it now. That thing is a game changer. Uh, it runs like a traditional trolling motor, traditional style pedal, but it has a lot of extra features that are completely changing the game. Uh, the one that stands out to me the most is the anchor button, the ability to spot lock. What that is, we're cruising along, I get to a spot where I wanna stay put, I just step on this anchor. Now that motor is gonna run itself, it's gonna do whatever it needs to do to hold position. Why does that matter? Well today, here we are, it's sunny, it's calm, it's no big deal. It's not as key of a feature. When that wind starts blowing, that is the real deal. It has completely changed how I fish because I'm no longer stuck up here in the front of the boat, foot on the pedal, taking the waves, trying to cast out the back to my spot. Now I can just pull up, get in position, set it, turn around and fish. And if I don't wanna fish here, I can go on the back deck, because we all know on a windy day where the front end's crashing, the back end is still stable. For years, your back boater has had the best position in the wind. Now you can go back there and fish together. Complete game changer. That motor's up here just working by itself. The other thing that it's done, it stays locked so well that I can finesse fish in the wind. So when I'm worming, throwing a jig, any of those things, that motor is staying so tight in those waves. Because even when I was on the pedal trying to control myself, you have a lot more drift than you realize. Uh, when I'm spot locked, you know, it's running on GPS, it's controlling itself. I'm able to fish lighter weights, more subtle, really feel bottom despite being in the waves. No question I'm putting more fish in the boat because of that one feature of the motor. It does a lot of other things as well. We can set a speed and lock that speed in so the motor is just going to maintain speed. Here we can lock our direction so I can I can set a speed and a heading and that motor will just go. In fact let's do that. We'll take our spot lock off. So now we've got full power going. We'll take it up to 80. And there we've set our heading. This boat's just gonna run. It's just gonna cruise on its own. My apologies to Tim, who's no longer gonna get to fish the Thule's because I'm driving away from the bank. Uh, but this feature where we've, where we've been playing with this is when you just get on a long shoreline, you just set yourself 20, 30 feet off the bank, turn it down to a two or a three, just let it run, and now you're not attached to that pedal. You can just walk around, you can pick things up, you can make your cast, you can catch fish, and that boat's just cruising along the shore nice and slow. Uh, that's another thing that, that has really stood out to me. Now, let's address concerns. Because anytime a new product comes out, anytime a new product comes out, We've all got concerns, right? And I did too. I wasn't sure what I was gonna think of this motor. That's why I waited so long to talk to you guys about it. My concern was that because this is motor driven, it's not like the motors we had before. Before I had an Ultrex, uh, I had a Fortrex. Before that, I had a Maxim Pro. Before that, I had a Maxim. Before that, I had a Motor Guide. All of those motors we're essentially the same style of cable driven. This is still cable, but it's electric assist and it's louder. I was very concerned about that sound, but what I've discovered 
because Tim and I are always shooting underwater video. You guys have seen a lot of that. When we're actually shooting our underwater footage, what I discovered is all that sound, those electric motors that are running, they're up here in the head. They're not down at the bottom of that shaft. They're not underwater. There is no change in the underwater sound. It's exactly the same. That took away my biggest concern. It's a complete non-issue. And uh, that's, that's just one of those things where I just got happier with this thing. The other thing for me, from a guide standpoint, the feature that, that has made a huge change, and this will be a big game changer uh, if you prefer to fish sitting down or if you have kids that you fish with a lot, but that's the remote. But for a guide, for what I do, this thing changes it. Uh, no longer do I have to stand up front in my client's way or in the kid's way. They can sit up there and fish. Tim, I'm gonna take over. They can sit up there and fish. I'm in control. I tell it to go. We're on an eight, so this thing's gonna take off. But if I don't want that, I can turn it down. Let's take it down to a five. We won't throw Tim out of the boat that way. Let's bank it to the left. I mean the right. Now let's bank it to my other left, the real left. Full function back here from the back of the boat. When I'm fishing with clients, if I've got two guys and we're fishing a tight area, me standing on the nose of that boat absolutely costs them fish because guys are afraid to hit you on their hook set. And I appreciate that. I don't want to get hit. Uh, but it really, it does cost them. There's just too many people. There's too crowded. With this, I stay back here out of the way. I literally stand behind my guys. I'm running everything by remote and I have all my features. I can spot lock it from back here. We just set it, that motor's gonna take over, maintain its position. I can do everything. I stay completely out of my guys' way and I have a very different perspective because I'm in the back of the boat looking forward. When I'm watching my guys fish and I'm not worried about controlling my motor or me worried about getting hit, I can watch that water out there. I see more activity. I'm able to point out where fish are moving in the tulies or breaking on the surface. I'm much more free separated from that motor. For a guide, or for anybody that doesn't want to be up there getting snagged by their kids, or if you want to sit down, if it's a rough day and you would rather be sitting in a seat back here than strapped to the front of that boat, that remote is key. Uh, just another awesome feature. You know, I don't want to bury you guys in details with this thing, uh, but after a couple months of using it, I wanted to do a review of it. You know, we do baits, we do rods, we do reels. We talk about all those different things. We've never really talked about a major aspect of the boat before, but that thing outside of a bait or a reel, hands down the biggest change in my fishing in the last decade was bolting that thing up to my boat. The amount of control that I have to be able to spot lock, and there are a lot of features that I don't even use yet. You're able to jog that spot lock, get it to make very small movements, you can link it up to your electronics. There are so many things that you can do even beyond what we're already using. It's a game changer. Uh, it's pricey. It's more expensive than the Fortrex was. In my opinion, you know, obviously everybody's budget is different. So if it's something that, that you can't do, the traditional trolling motors are awesome. Uh, but if you're in a position where you can upgrade, there is no reason not to upgrade game changer. That's all I can say. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're going to bring you more reviews over the next, I don't know, coming weeks or months. We'll talk to you guys about the Solix. We'll talk to you about the Talons. You know, we're doing reviews periodically, you know, like two reviews a month, probably covering boat equipment, covering gear, covering baits, all those things, just branching out so that we can help you guys become better anglers. We appreciate your support and we'll talk to you soon.